At this shop, expenses are piling up. It's not just because of the cost of lumber, but every material used to make furniture. Some supplies have doubled in price, others have quadrupled. And those higher costs are being passed on to the consumer. 40 years of business, this is the first year of, of turbulence like this in price increases. And with inflation now rising at its fastest pace in a decade, this shop is not alone. Price tags are climbing on just about everything, everywhere. Today, Statistics Canada says the average cost of many products is up almost 3.5% compared to a year ago, when the world was locked down and prices plummeted in the earliest days of the pandemic. But plenty of people are still feeling the pain. Prices at the pump are a big reason why. A tank of gasoline is now costing Canadians 60% more than it did last year. We are still seeing a pretty significant uh, take up for fuel in terms of diesel and gasoline. And that in turn is uh, driving pretty much the cost of living up uh, everywhere. Experts do say rising prices could just be temporary, though the situation might get worse before it gets better. When everyone is out of lockdown and ready to spend, demand for products will likely be intense, driving prices even higher. Markets are sort of getting concerned about whether this could be more permanent than maybe we know at the moment. That's an open question. We can't answer that with just one month's data. For businesses like this furniture shop, one strategy is to stockpile materials to guard against future price increases, which seem to keep coming month after month. It's just becoming very difficult. We have customers that are finding it very hard to buy from us. For now, all they can do is charge what they have to until prices stabilize. Kyle Bax, CBC News, Calgary.